Yeah, Dad. Hey guys, uh, Aiden from Little Red Dice here. And today we're going to be talking about PPE because uh, my dad got some chemical burns from touching resin too much, so he definitely needs to hear about this. And if you stick around, you're going to be able to learn how to get one of these chunkers, or you're going to learn how to get a respirator if you need it. For free, too, which is really nice. This is the ultimate PPE. This is uh, stuff that my dad wears at work. Uh, well, first I'm going to go over. So we got the sleeves to keep my arms from touching resin, and we got the gloves that don't fit me, as the rest of the one do, like this. And this is the fresh air system. If I pull it down, there's a system that's on this belt right here, and it filters fresh air up into this. So, I'm not breathing in all the fumes. These are gloves. The reason why you should always wear these is because touching resin can cause something called resin burns. They're pretty much just chemical burns that are under your skin and makes it so that you can't see them. Uh, the way to fix chemical burns and resin burns are to just douse it in baking soda and rub it in so that the baking soda can neutralize the acids from the resin. This is a respirator. Wearing a respirator is very important for your lungs and just for your safety altogether. It keeps all the fumes from resin from getting into your lungs and... If you're not wearing a respirator, it will get in your lungs and can damage them really badly. Um, one thing I do want to go over, too, as well, is face masks are not meant for this. If you wear a face mask, it's not rated for fumes, and it won't keep them from going through. The reason is, is because this has a filter on it, and face masks don't, and... It's just made out of cloth or some other material. Uh, so, don't wear a face mask. Wear a respirator. You want to change out the filters every six months. And if you don't, then they really just don't help you at all. Uh, a note for making sure that your respirator is going to stay good. Uh... You should always, once you're done using it, you should put it in a Ziploc bag, kind of like this one, or just a bag that it can fit in, that has a tie just to keep anything from getting in. So if you have, like, a waterproof case that's big enough, that would work too. As long as it's pretty much airtight, or at least really close to that. So that nothing touches it besides you. Uh, I'm going to show you at the end, how to yeah, how you can win this respirator actually. Um, so stay tuned until the end, and you'll learn how to get that. This is our third subject. This is a Tyvek arm sleeve. Uh, since my dad wears these a lot at work, uh, we have a lot of them here. Uh, they just protect you from getting resin splashed on your arms and other stuff being splashed on your arms. That's just what it's for. And it's real thin. It feels kind of like a foily type thing. But, uh, that's really all it does, but it's just really important. For me, it goes up all the way to my shoulder, just because my arms aren't as big as my dad's are. Uh, for him, it just goes up to his elbow, right here, for me, so, that's it about the sleeves that I'm wearing. So, if you watch to the end, you will know that we're going to be giving away this D20 and this respirator to two different people. Uh, how, if you're wondering how you can enter to win the d20 just comment what your favorite type of dice is 
you like d20, just say that. If you like d4s, do that. Just enter your favorite type of dice to win the respirator. Um, just comment down below that you would like the respirator and that you really need one. Well, that's it for today's video. Uh, the videos about vacuum chambers and pressure pots will be coming up soon. Um, thank you for watching, and just remember, think outside the D6. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm going to get back to playing games.